Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Woman arrested at the NM Muslim compound was discovered on CNN. Wow, now this is truly crazy and if it turns out to be true it would mean it's a new all-time low for the fake news giant that is CNN. One of the women who was arrested at the New Mexico Muslim compound once actually appeared on CNN. And the best part is even though CNN correctly reported on Hujra Wahaj as being one of the suspects, they conveniently never revealed that she was on their network. Funny how CNN forgot to mention this, don't you agree? Whatever happened here between CNN and this accused terrorist at least we can report that District Attorney Donald Gallegos is now planning to appeal the decision to release these people on bond by the Democrat judge who was appointed by the governor of New Mexico Susana Martinez. Earlier in the week, Judge Sarah Bacchus, who seems to have a history of leniency when it comes to child abusers, released the group with a low signature bond of $20,000 pending trial. They'll have to wear an ankle monitor during that time and cannot leave the country. Luckily one of the women has been detained by federal immigration officials but no further information has come out on her. Here is more on this case via 100% fed up. The five suspects, Siraj Wahaj, Hujra Wahaj, Lucas Morton, Yanni Levaya and Subhan Wahaj face 11 counts of child abuse. The raid on the compound the 11 children lived in was filthy. The children were dressed in rags, had no shoes and little to eat. People on the scene said the children looked like Holocaust survivors. Other than child abuse and a dead child found on the property, prosecutors presented a case of possible terrorist training for an attack but the judge rejected the claim, insane. The leader of the compound took weapons classes before he moved to New Mexico. The 11 children were taught how to load and fire assault rifles. A letter was found from the compound leader telling his brother to come to New Mexico to become a martyr. When the tactical team raided the compound, they found children holding boxes of ammo and one teen claimed he was armed. During the raid, Wahaj was heavily armed with an AR-15 rifle, five loaded 30-round magazines, and four loaded pistols, including one in his pocket when he was taken down, according to the Taos County Sheriff's Office. New Mexico prosecutors said at least one child at the compound was being trained to commit school shootings. The defense used the what-if-they-were-Christians defense. The defense said that it's prudent to teach children how to use a weapon. They tried to distance themselves from the weapons and then use the comparison to a Christian group who was armed. They basically tried to turn the tables to make this a Muslim versus Christian issue when it's not. Each of the five suspects was given a low bond and will wear an ankle monitor, the children are in protective custody with state welfare workers. Any visits to the children by the five suspects will be supervised. Our previous report on the compound. Here's what the mainstream media ISNT telling you. The story below will have you asking how a Muslim compound like this can exist in America. Someone must have seen something and someone must know what happened to a young boy who is still missing. The missing four-year-old's father was arrested at the New Mexico compound and isn't speaking. He's the son of an imam with a checkered past. Five relatives of a very prominent imam with a checkered past were living in a squalid New Mexico compound. Siraj Wahaj is a well-known imam who speaks at mosques across the country including the Georgia and New York City locations of Masjid at Taqwa. Prosecutors named the elder Siraj Wahaj, born Jeffrey Kurz, as an unindicted co-conspirator in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. He also was a character witness in the trial of convicted terror plotter Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman. How could this compound exist and this young boy just disappear? While the mainstream media has been focusing on the Muslim desert encampment discovered in New Mexico, a young boy is still missing. A Georgia family is still looking for a young boy who has been missing since mid-December. Abdul Ghani Wahaj was last seen in on December 13 traveling with his father who was just found at a squalid encampment in New Mexico. Eleven children and three adults were also found living in the filthy compound that was made from a makeshift berm of tires and an RV. There was little water and food for the children who were dressed in rags. Officials on the scene said the children looked like concentration camp survivors with ribs sticking out. The missing child's mother reported Siraj ibn Wahaj in December when he took his son claiming he would give the boy an exorcism because he was possessed by the devil. The boy suffers from mental and physical problems including seizures. The authorities were alerted by someone within the compound who messaged that, we are starving and need food and water. The compound was searched and still the boy hasn't been found. All of the 11 other children are in protective custody. On Sunday. The Taos County Sheriff announced 11 charges of child cruelty against all five adults, Siraj ibn Wahaj, Lucas Allen Morton, Yanni Levaya, Hujra Wahaj, and Subhan Wahaj. 
Yanni Laville is one of the three women arrested, all three women wore the traditional Muslim veil. None of the adults will say where the missing four-year-old is located. The grandfather of the little boy, Siraj Wahaj, is a well-known imam, who speaks at mosques across the country, including the Doraville and New York City locations of Masjid at Taqwa. Now let's be honest here. If these people would have been Trump supporters this hack judge would most likely have locked them up without bail and would have thrown away the key. But since they are Muslims they probably get a pass because of political correctness and the fact that the Democrat Party seems to have a soft spot for the crimes these people commit. Let's hope the New Mexico Attorney General can get these people sent to jail without bail and that he can find a way to impeach this judge who seems to have the integrity of a typical Democrat politician. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.